Uric acid dissolved plus magnesium hydroxide. That's the active ingredient in milk of magnesia. So here's my sulfuric acid that I'm going to be using. And I have some water that I'm going to place the magnesium hydroxide in. very white, doesn't it? doesn't look like it's dissolving very well into the water. That's why I've written this. That's why I've written the magnesium hydroxide as a solid. does not dissolve well at all. You see that cloudy mixture? That tells me there are little solid particles in there. We have a heterogeneous mixture of water and undissolved solid particles of magnesium hydroxide. Now what I'm going to add to this mixture is what we call an acid-base indicator. The particular acid-base indicator that I'm going to add will be blue or violet, blue or purple colored in a base, and it'll be red, orange, or yellow in an acid. If it's neutral, it'll be green. So let's see. The only way that this will turn blue or violet is if there are free hydroxide ions in there. That's what a base is, remember? So let me add a little bit of this indicator. You know, I claim that magnesium hydroxide, even though it doesn't dissolve real well, a little bit of it does. Let's see if there's free hydroxide ions in there. Oh, look at that beautiful purple and blue. That purple and blue color tells me that even though most of the magnesium hydroxide is undissolved, there's some of it that has dissolved and has formed free hydroxide ions that are able to interact with this indicator dye, making it, in this case, purple. That's, that's very basic. This is a very basic solution from some of the magnesium hydroxide that's dissolved. Now, I'm going to add some sulfuric acid to the mixture to see if I can neutralize the uh, violet colored indicator. And of course, I'm gonna what I really want to neutralize is the um, magnesium hydroxide. So I'm at a single drop of this, just one. I'm gonna swirl. Oh my goodness, I saw a whole bunch of colors there. There's a lot going on. And it looked like it went to a blue color, kind of where it leveled off. Oh, maybe it's even going all the way to purple. Something's going on there. Let me add another drop. Let's add two drops this time. All right, two drops. Red, orange, yellow, green. That went really fast. Looking kind of blue or aqua-ish colored right now. What in the world is going on? Getting a little darker blue. It's even getting back to violet, isn't it? Sure is. Let's add another two drops and swirl. Red, orange, yellow, green. And if we wait, sure enough, it went to blue. And it looks like it's going to violet again. I'll add some more. I'm going to add a little bit more this time. There we go. See if we can't get it to stay red. Red? Oh my goodness! What in the world is going on there? It's a little bit complicated, but let's talk about it. Let's talk about it a bit. We'll come back to this in a bit. Okay. Here's the chemical reaction that's going on. It is a neutralization reaction. We have to think about what's in the beaker. It's purple right now as I look at it. So I'm going to sort of draw what's in the beaker. We have a lot of solid magnesium hydroxide that's undissolved. It's spread throughout the, the, the mixture. Of course, there's little tiny particles. But I'm just going to draw it as a big bar of solid magnesium hydroxide here on the bottom. Okay? This is, our, this, this is going to represent the solid that's in there. A little bit of this dissolves. Just a little bit. So 
we're gonna we're gonna just make like two hydroxide ions, okay? And of course, for every two hydroxide ions that dissolves, we're gonna need a magnesium ion. That's gotta happen. We gotta keep charge balanced. When I give it a squirt of the acid, I'm putting in a bunch of H2SO4. So let's just say, okay. Well, there's two, there's two protons for every sulfate. So if I squirt one in, we'll say I squirt two in, okay? And those need two minuses. So when I initially squirt this in, the reaction between hydroxide and protons is really fast. So this reacts with this and makes a water. So now it's, it's a water, so let's just make it part of the water. And then a second one reacts with this and makes another water. So we're going to get rid of this. But look, there's two of these left over. The solutions become acidic. That's why you see the initial flash of red. But then we got all of this magnesium hydroxide left over that slowly dissolves just a little bit. So a little bit of this starts to dissolve. So if one more of these dissolves, I get another magnesium and two hydroxides. Oh, and it reacts with this and this and this and this. And here the solution would be neutral at this point. So the color change would go from red all through the other colors to green at this point. And then when a little bit more, it's still left over, when a little bit more of this dissolves, we have some hydroxide left over, happens slowly. And bringing us back to purple again. But some of the solids dissolve, so we don't have as much as we did before. And this process can happen over and over and over again until we run out of the magnesium hydroxide when all the magnesium hydroxide has been neutralized and squirting in acid has nothing to react with, it should stay red and instead of being cloudy, it will no longer be able to be cloudy because all the solid is gone, it should go to, to, to clear. Let's see, let's continue to add some acid. All right, I'm going to add five drops. One, two, three, four, five. Give that a swirl. There's the red. And woo, right back through green. And then slowly we're going to get a little change of color, probably more to blue or aqua. But I'm just going to keep going to see if I can't get this to go all the way to a, a clear, transparent red. I don't know how much I'm going to have to add. <laughs> That's so fun. magnesium hydroxide away? I believe I did. I believe I did. So this is the point where all the solid has been dissolved and the addition, uh, the, the, the solid has been completely neutralized and when I'm adding excess acid, of course, it, um, you know, the excess acid is what's giving the red color, indicating that we have an acid here in the, in the solution.